Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing Dordan. Now, Dordan is a game that was recently released on Xbox Game Pass, or something like that, and basically it's a cute little game following this young girl through her present and her past, and it's a wonderful look at how memories can get lost throughout childhood, but still being able to find them and bring them back, so... I hope you guys are ready, so let's buckle in and let's begin. So I haven't really learned much about this game. I've played through about the first chapter by myself just to get the mechanics and to understand how to use everything. So but today we're still gonna play through that and look through everything and kind of figure things out together. So I hope you guys are ready. And I hope you guys are excited as I am to really see how this game fully really is. Now for me, I've already fallen in love with the, the art style of this game. It's very watercolor-esque, very... Almost like cutting paper out and putting images together, but watercoloring that paper instead of having an animated theme or something. So... And what yes, there is first memory? animations as well, but my first memory is being a total my, brat in Victoria's Secret. Mine is <laughs> somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before is gone. Yeah, she Forever. traumatized. She a little, uh, she a little neurologically spiced. I don't remember anything. Oh. oh, she lives in her car, doesn't she? Because she's got all the, the cups and... Yeah. And I don't know, maybe she's just staying out there for a couple nights. You never know. The stream. Again. My head hurts, and so does my back. Well, you're sleeping in a damn car girl and you were curled up like you weren't even laying down straight bend your knees not your back where's my phone must be dad and you fell asleep with oh wait no you didn't you grabbed him i think i was about to say girl you can't be falling asleep with him on is that your dad why you have his like yeah that's a bad relationship if you got him as his actual name. And that sounds like Febreze. So, maybe it's for the best. Where are you? Your mother is worried sick. Of course it's dad. As if you weren't. Not far from the Dordan or almost at the house. Should answer. Well, I get that. Okay? I'm thinking. <laughs> um... I don't know what the Dordan is, so I'm gonna say almost at the house. A new message. Quickly for once, let's see what he has to say. What are you hoping to achieve? You know what I want. I want to clear the house out. Nora left me a box. Memories. I need to find out more. Um. I feel like whenever you say I don't want to fight with you to a family member, that's just asking for a fight so I need to do this I need to find answers you don't come home well that's one way to put it he'll never understand he hates hated Nora okay so she's dead doesn't matter the removals people are coming on Friday to get rid of all the junk do what you want but you can't change the past hmm this isn't going to be easy. Come on, Mimi, you can do it. I should stop answering for now, or else I'll keep sending messages until I come home. In the same week, I lost my job and my grandmother Nora died, and I got my hands on two letters. Click the right thing. Dear Febreze, I'm writing to let you know that in accordance with your mother's will and your recent phone call, the Dordan house will be empty next week. 
I would like to express how deeply sorry I am for your loss. Nora was a friend of mine, and I hope you don't mind me saying, but despite your differences, I know you cared as much for her as she cared for you. Please let my office know if you change your mind regarding the sale of the house. Given the current state of the market, I have no doubt you'll find a buyer before December. But a property like this should stay in the family. You will find in this envelope a few words addressed to your daughter. Thank you for giving it to her directly. With my most sincere condolences, Simone Langley. Lang Liao, notary bordere fan, France. I probably said all of that wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I stole this letter from Dad, who is never going to tell me about Nora, my own grandmother. But the other message, that was the biggest surprise. She kind of looks like Jane Crocker from um, Homestuck. I was really into that as a kid. Deep breaths, girl. We all gotta take them. I wonder what time period the Sims in. Dear they, Mimi, they kinda this got, letter like, will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood, but never accepted. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordogne. Dordogne. For I was close. Reason, Nora. All right. Well, now that they're done talking and everything, which, by the way, that was like such a sweet letter, you know what I mean? Like, it's still mysterious, but sweet. I don't remember this place. I've been here before, but I don't remember anything. I wonder if... Would they hide the key somewhere? Okay. So, we can now move and interact and stuff. But we also have the phone and letters. So, I don't think there's anything to look at here. Alright, so we've got that. That would keep us on track and everything. Um, I'm going to check all the messages and see what these are about. So we've got someone named Justine. Hey Mimi, everyone misses you at the agency. I miss you too. I'm upset I was fired, but I'm glad I'm not there anymore. So, Mimi was fired from her job. Please come save us. I have stuff to deal with right now. I need to come over soon. We've got someone named Alex. So, we've got Alex and Justine. Who is this? Mimi, this is my new phone number. Oh, sorry. I walked past our Chinese restaurant yesterday and thought about you. Let's have lunch there. Wednesday? Sure. Hey, sorry, Mimi. Something came up. I have to leave town for a few days. And then she's got shrink appointments. All talking about, yeah, and then that's just the dad. Okay. So we got Alex and Justine. Nothing over here. It's a pretty view, but I guess the gate is kind of the obvious choice, huh? 
nothing with the car or anything over here. So, let's see. I guess we got to do this. All right. I can see something in the letterbox. Oh, key. Someone must have dropped it in there. Let's empty that letterbox. Someone sold the kit. Got 50% off. Ads. That's a really good deal if you need a power saw. I mean, hey, you never know. I got a letter. Okay. October 1st, 2002. To Nora's family. I just heard about Nora's passing and I want to share share with you my deepest sadness. The whole town shares your pain and we hope you will find peace in knowing how much good Nora did since she moved to the region in the 50s. Our most sincere condolences. The mayor, Pauline Prevoy, the deputy mayor, Simon Alacruz, and everybody at the town council and the town market. At least I'm trying to pronounce the names. Can't get my fingers through the opening, but the letterbox is loose. I think I can lift it and shake it. Okay. Damn, the key is stuck at the bottom of the letterbox. <clears throat> of course it is. Let's see if I can take the back off the letterbox. Okay. We just have a magic screwdriver? Like... <laughs> Thank- Oh, okay. It was in the car. Got it. Let's grab that key. Take that. And take that. Okay. Nice. You've collected the key. Alright, now I'll be able to open the door. Did I need a key just to do that? Why couldn't I have just done that? Oh, it's probably for the house, yeah. Now to the house. Can I, like, go back here? Oh. I think I remember this. Locked. Good, because I wasn't going to start investigating a damp cave. I mean, I, I would. This place feels abandoned. This patch reminds me of something. There were vegetables here. Each of vegetables. Depressing. Well, you can have a little bit more, like, enthusiasm. Like, this is a nice house. Oh. I'm pretty sure I used that swing. So, no plants. Oh. It looks like there's a path behind these bushes. Can I go back there? Locked from. Well, yeah, is that how a door works? Wow, I'm shaking. Damn, she is shaking. Okay. Got it. Alright. It fits. Well, I, w I would hope so. Otherwise, what key is gonna be in their mailbox? So. <laughs> Here we go. Don't remember anything about this place. Yeah, this house feels like home. Too bad I can't see a thing. Okay. I could do that, right? But like, do you think there's multiple different light sources that I could find? Need a light or a trip over something and break a leg. Need me enough with the drama. I'm not going anywhere without a light. I mean, there might be a flashlight around, and that's better than a candle because a candle will go out. That's the kitchen, I guess. For me, I could see something. 
I mean, there must be candles somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, she just wants the candle. That's fine. At least I got an achievement out of that. You know what? <laughs> Alright, let's see who you are. Alright, Matchbox. Light a match and strike a flame. Key, check, light, check. Next goal. Huh. The box nowhere left for me. Stop talking to yourself, Mimi. I would talk to myself at the old house. Pen. <laughs> Wait. This pen. Okay. It's a calligraphy pen. Are we gonna write with it? We're keeping the cap. Why? Oh, wait. How'd the pen fit in there, then? <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. Do you remember this pen? I knew you'd find it right away. Yours truly, Nora. That... That's cute and all, but, like, imagine writing all of this on, like, about to die, hoping that this one person would come and find all these things, and you know what I mean? Like, that... That's such a chance that you're, you gotta take. I spent a summer writing with this, writing in my... Wait, I remember. Oh. Okay. And make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. That's basically Fabrice. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. It's Fabrice. That was before we moved to the States. I'll get used to saying it. But I'm just gonna call him Fabrice. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye. Is it the same car? Did they hand the car down to her? Oh. Oh. Come on, let's get your suitcase to your room. Whatever, okay. There's a path right here. My room's not that way. Can I go here anyway? No. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we have a thing over here now. Pretty sight. I wish I could take a picture. Oh, we can move. So we've got something over there. It looks like a farm over there. Um, or maybe, maybe yeah, it might be. There's the actual like farm lands over there, and then there's a village over there. So okay, she's just repeating herself. I wonder how the backyard looks and stuff now. Uh, oh, there's a thing. Got a snail. Is there anything else out here? Oh, wait. That's all. And then, oh, wait. One right here. Hmm. I have to check out the back here. Grandma and Grandpa used to do crosswords here in the morning. 
got to unpack first or they'll tell me all. <laughs> oh wait, this was that was the she said it was a cave and then this one they said um it was or it was like broken down. It wasn't even a thing. It was empty without grandpa oh it's for grandfathers. I hope I won't have to eat these. <laughs> That's cute. Do they have anything over here? No. Got chairs. So tired, but gotta unpack first. Okay. The swing. Wanted to be in Paris for the summer. Not here. Oh, we've got the gate now. So it wasn't like right here. It was like where the bushes actually were. The gate's open. Grandma used to lock it before. Grandma was afraid I would drown. <laughs> I know how to swim. I don't think you can drown in this little pond, but... Oh, wait. Is that it down here? Is there... Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I got the little cat stones. Okay, we can check this out. The pond was grandpa's idea. The cats are definitely grandma's. Oh, They must have done a little man-made one or something. Not in the mood. So what was- what did I just click? I wanted to be in Paris. Why couldn't I stay at home? I don't want to be here. Aww. This is going to be a long summer. Um, we can explore the house now. Oh. Got a little ducky hairpin. I wonder if we can use these, like decorate our character and stuff later on. What am I doing here? I don't know. Can I have a good book? No, just a normal book, I guess. I wish I stayed back in Paris. Yeah, you kind of said that already. You don't seem enthusiastic at all. <laughs> Got a stove and a. That's a, a nice stove. I think it's a gas stove. There's a lot of stuff up here. I shouldn't be in here. Is there anything in here though? Let me go look at what's up here. Oh wait, we got oh we got two thingies. Okay, we got some buttons. And we got a new Mexico. We've got the the bathroom right here. It's right here. Got the bathroom right here. Is there anything in here? There's something written right there. Should I write that down? I'm I'm gonna write it down. Um I think that's two four oh nine. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like when you see something written kind of like that in a game, you write it down. I remember it. And I don't got a good memory. So... Looking back here, I guess. Let's check out upstairs. Oh, wait. <laughs> Boring. She's not in a very good mood. I'm guessing that's our room. So I'm gonna go check out over here real quick. It's locked. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is the washroom. Got a tree indoors. Is that an apple tree or is it like a...
Well, hey, maybe she's in a better mood now. This is a door with a, a just a no. Like a don't enter. All right, I guess it's time to go into our room. Um, I guess there's not anything in here really. First day, I miss my friends. Go and unpack first, then we can have something to eat. Okay. Oh, why do I have to do it now? Alright. First drawer. Protective mom. So many sweaters. It's summer mom. She's so annoying. Okay. Tiring. Oh. Dad really wants me to brush my teeth. He was very weird in the car. Hope. I'm boring. I don't know. Let's have hope. I hope the summer will pass quickly. Oh. Well. Got a paper in there. Moving away. Wish I could spend it with my friends instead of coming here. Oh, I guess they're moving. What's that? Mom must have popped this in my suitcase. I think it's door done yet. I think that's how you say it. So, official map by Michelin scale a map. That'll be useful if I can get out of the house. Okay. I better go downstairs. I've already checked out everything up here. Alright, let's head into the kitchen. Is there anything in the safe either? All done. Yep. Can I go play outside? <clears throat> it's dinner time soon. Mm. Why don't you draw something? There's paper in the living room. Mm. Oh, I get to go check the journal. Shouldn't be in here. Okay. Let's go check the journal. Your dad told me you had some homework to do over the summer for your new school. Hmm. Oh, the pen's down there. That's a binder, not a journal. Couldn't find any paper, so let's use this all day. Draw? I'm not seven anymore. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's keep drawing. Parents. Always a safe choice. Can I draw it like... Not on here? Oh wait. What? Oops. Mama's a bit taller than that. What? Oops, mom is a bit taller than that. She picky. Okay. We got it. Can I not? 
just draw it over here? Yeah. I'm, I gotta draw it on the paper. Have you finished? Yes, I have. What? What have you done? This... Uh, this isn't I for drawing. Know. It looked old and... Of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that... I... So you're just gonna dip? Why you gonna be yelling at her? Like... Put your shit up then. I'm sorry, Mimi. Oh. I don't want to talk to you. I shouldn't have lashed out at you. You've never shown me that binder before. Is it a secret? Actually, lock it up in the attic. Okay. Why do you hide it? It's a memory. It's a lot of memories, actually. This binder is very important to me. My grandfather and I, we used to use it to write to each other through these pages. So, it's precious? Yes. But, maybe. You know what? Why don't you take it? Take it? Why? Because it wasn't meant to end. We used a binder so it would never be over. So we could always add pages. Do you understand? I think so. It's like a never-ending book. Promise me you'll keep writing and drawing in it. That you'll keep it alive. Would you like me to show you how to use it? Yeah. That's kind of sad, because I feel like that got left. So... That promise was not kept. First, you can write everything you need to remember to do here. Let's add the map your mother gave you. This way, you can't get lost. We've always kept the binder organized, so I'm hoping you'll do the same with the tabs. All the little memories you've collected are tidied and stored here. Maybe we'll put some new stuff in this binder over the holiday. I'll let you explore it by yourself. Okay. Well, we're done with that memory. And there we go. So that'll be all for now. We've completed chapter one and I really like how this game is going so far. I feel like we're definitely going to see how the grandmother and the, the granddaughter get close and how they start to form a bond but I really wonder what happened that caused that bond to break and I can definitely tell that there's some tension between the grandfather or not um, the grandmother and the dad um just from what they've mentioned earlier on um but I think the mother's got Mother's not as like against the grandmother just because I can kind of tell like with the slip in the the, the um, map in and things like that. So I wonder where this is gonna go, and I'm really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>